Now. All right, heading to Mars. Calls by NASA and other authorities to go to the red planet are getting stronger and stronger. They say the only thing in their way, well, there's a couple things, but one is the sheer cost of such a venture, which is now estimated to be in the hundreds of billions of dollars. One group, though, not letting that get in the way is Mars One. It is an organization that is planning to put a colony on Mars in the next 10 years or so. They've been busy shortlisting candidates, all with unique talents and traits. But one thing that unites all of them is their willingness to leave it all behind and never come back. Joining me now is one of those people, Max Fagan. Max, first of all, how did you make yourself seem so unique that you got on the shortlist? I mean, what is so unique and special about you that you get to go to Mars? Uh, I guess probably my past. I've been working towards this goal for basically my entire life, both academically uh, and professionally. So that's something that not many people have had the chance to do, and I think that's what really makes me a good candidate. How do you feel about the fact that it's a one-way ticket? I mean, how does your family feel about that? Well, my family is obviously a little, con a little conflicted about it, but they've always supported me in everything that I've done. And when the time actually comes, it'll, it'll be very hard to leave them. Um, but it'll be something which I just have to do. This you, is, do like I said, a lifelong ambition. There are some people who think that this is just a publicity stunt and that it has to do with the reality show and that it's not really going to happen. Are you in that group or you think you're really going to Mars? I'm, in, I'm definitely not in that group. I mean, there's no reason it can't be a publicity stunt and a legitimate endeavor. I mean, after all, um, efforts like the Olympics could be considered a publicity stunt from the same angle. It involves the same aspects of reality TV, but it's still a legitimate competition with a legitimate end game. Uh, and I see absolutely no reason why Mars One couldn't do in the same bi business model. You are very serious about that. I mean, you're getting your master's in aerospace engineering. This summer, um, you are working for Maiden Space, which is trying to get a 3D printer to the International Space Station. Is that That's right. We'll be launching we'll be launching a printer to the space station sometime later this year. Are you gonna be really sad if you don't end up making the final cut? Well, if not through this program, there are always other ways to get to Mars. I mean, we saw recently SpaceX's program um, r announcing the uh, second version of the Dragon spacecraft, which yeah. will be taking astronauts to the International Space Station. Um, they have made it very clear that their end game is Mars. Yeah. Um, so Mars One is not, the only, is not the only firm on this planet which has aspirations to other planets. You know, when you're done with college or you're done with your master's, are you going to try and go work for Elon Musk? I'd love to do that. I mean, I've been trying to do that since uh, 2010 when I first got a chance to visit SpaceX. But it's what I want to do is I want to spend as much of my life as possible on Mars, opening it to humanity, making use of the resources and opportunities that are present on a planet that has never been touched by humanity. Um, and whichever route gets me there, be it SpaceX or Mars One or, or some future firm that doesn't yet exist, um, that's what matters to me. Max Fagan, you are fantastic. Will you come back? We'd love to having you on. Absolutely. Give me a call anytime. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Good luck.